One of the most important social changes over the last few decades has been an increase in the number of people surviving into old age. Many of us are leading longer, healthier lives, which is a great human achievement, but it's also raised questions about how we provide financial support for what can now be a lengthy period of retirement. One solution is to encourage people to save more for their retirement, but a complementary or perhaps even alternative strategy is for people to extend their working lives. We know that transitions from work to retirement are changing and becoming more diverse. From a period when individuals looked forward to retiring early, we've entered an era when living longer is presented as an opportunity or an obligation to extend our working lives. The ending of the default retirement age has opened up a radically different environment for workers and employers. Both are entering a period of uncertainty and are exploring new options for how our working lives will be organised in the future. The transition from work to retirement used to be well institutionalised and predictable, but it's becoming increasingly open-ended and uncertain, subject to a complex network of organisational and individual pressures. These transitions carry new risks for employers and employees, but we know very little about people's experiences of working in later life or the factors that shape those experiences. I'm part of a multidisciplinary team of researchers drawn from six universities across the UK who are engaged in a research project to explore these issues. The research is led by Professor Sarah Vickerstaff of the University of Kent and funded by the Economic and Social Research Council. We're aiming to explore the processes and factors that influence working in later life with a view to enhancing policy development and employer practices. We've adopted a mixed methods approach that involves building a multi-level model of the determinants of retirement age using existing longitudinal data sets like the English Longitudinal Study of Aging and the National Child Development Study, and conducting a number of work-based case studies to understand the way in which processes associated with extended working life are negotiated within the workplace. By synthesising findings from the quantitative and qualitative data, we want to produce new theoretical models which will help us to understand the changing character of late career transitions. We hope that by describing and explaining these emerging forms of extended working life, we'll be able to provide information that will be of practical benefit to policymakers, employers and employees themselves.